A lot of people don't realize that um, the Calumet region has a lot of ecological, ecologically valuable resources here, like wetlands, prairies, um, forested preserves, and that kind of thing. Calumet is very rich um, in terms of an industrial background. It's very important to tell the story of the industry because this was basically the capital of the industrial um, revolution or what you can say in the U.S. I mean, in terms of the steel production, this is where all that steel for buildings, for railroads, was being created. So it's very important to portray that story, to tell that story for people in the area to know about it because this is something very valuable to the region. Nature, um, Calumet has actually one, was actually one of the largest remaining wetland. It is actually the largest remaining wetland complex in Illinois. So it's very important that we conserve the wetlands that we have here. Um, before all this industries and development occurred, this was just such a huge wetland complex in the Illinois, Indiana area. But now, because of all that industry, a lot of it has disappeared. You know, a lot of um, lakes have been filled in to, to create productive land. So it's important that we preserve the nature that, that still exists, that's managed to survive all the pollution and all the development that's occurred in this area. And last but not least, is a very historical and diverse community that exists here. You know, a lot of people were attracted to the area because of the potential for work that came with the steel industries, you know. People could create that, you know, American dream for their family, you know, jobs, you know, um, families, you know, a house. So, um, despite the fact that with the loss of the steel industries, the jobs disappeared, we still have a rich community here, you know. We have to cater into that community. We have to provide newer opportunities for that community to prosper despite the fact that the steel industry has disappeared. So the Environmental Center is going to take on portraying and encouraging these um, three parts of the Calumet region. Sorry. Okay, um, in I believe it was 2003, the International Green Building Design um, competition was launched and this was like an international um, competition where 108 entries were submitted um, for people to come up with a design, a sustainable building design for an environmental center. Um, out of the 108 <coughs> entries, five finalists were selected and the winner was selected who I believe was a blind jury. And it just happened that the winner ended up being a local firm, Studio Gang, which is um, on the northwest side of northwest side of the city. And um, we've been working with them ever since they were selected as the winner in 2004. And actually, this project has been on hold since 2004, but the mayor went ahead and gave the go ahead to start up with, to go ahead with the designs and specs in the spring of last year. And um, the building was, construction was supposed to start this summer, but there have been delays. We still need to do a whole bunch of fundraising. But now it is going to start probably in the early part of next year. And we plan to open right now by the fall of 2010, from what I'm hearing.